Senior officers of the Ghana Armed Forces represented Ghana Military Academy, regular career course, intake 34, and short service course on special duties, intake 33, have marked their Silver Jubilee anniversary by donating bountifully to the Jalu Special School, the Children's Ward of the 37 Military Hospital, and their Hama Mata, under the theme, 25 years of quality training, service to humanity. The 12th August 1994-year group of 68 graduates made their presentations to the various institutions on Tuesday, 13th August 2019, as they were represented by a number of colonels and a couple of group captains, some of whom had various United Nations peacekeeping missions, whilst others have retired and gone into other fields of practice. Led by the group's president, Colonel Fred Intiri, the team first caught at the Jolu Special School, where it commissioned a 180-meter deep borehole well, which had been mechanized and connected to overhead water tanks to the ablution of the boys' dormitory after repairing the ablution itself. The team then moved to the 37 military hospital, well led by the group captain Thomas Divio Okai. They gave out bed sheets, detergents, hand sanitizers and nebulizers, purposely for the children's ward. On behalf of the uh, hospital command and Ghana Forces Medical Service, we say a very big thank you to the group that donated these items. Seeing it, somebody might think it's a, a, it's, it's, it's a token. It's but we, we really appreciate it because it will support the work we are doing. They rounded it up at the Ghana Military Academy where they presented two projectors and a nine-footer deep freezer for use by the office cadets. In a word of thanksgiving and congratulations, the commandants of Ghana Military Academy, Major General William Omani Ajekum, used the occasion to urge the present intake of officer cadets to be mindful of giving us similar help in the future as they receive help. So, this is, these are the things, you know, pretty, pretty things, small here, little here, little there, then you build yourself up, okay? So, the pieces of advice people give, you know, as time goes on, uh, there are important things that you take note. Especially when people come here and they share their experience with you. When they were GMA, what kept on, what kept them moving. Uh, there are things that you have to take note, okay? And also, you also have to take note that one day, when you also finish and go, you will come back and give to your, I think it was Ama Mata or, some say Ama Mata, I don't know which one is, which one is correct, Ama Mata or Ama Mata? It's the same thing, okay. So one day you will come back, you should come back, you should think of it. You know, it's a very good example that they have done. A lot of intakes have done something, and what they have done is very remarkable, okay? Uh, things, projectors and things like that that you need for your training. So you should take note that one day you should also be coming back here uh, to do a similar presentation after 10 years, 15 years, 20 years uh, thereof. Can an interior urge the officer cadets to be guided by a few of the guiding principles that the team learned at the academy, such as service to humanity, teamwork, integrity, knowledge, earn and not exact the respect of everybody, plan for the future, and have the fear of God. Forgot to mention, day in, day out. And let me quickly mention that the course commander of intake 33, SSC intake 33, was then Major Obi Aqua who is now the CDS, and the course commander for intake 34 was then Major Yan Yakofo, who is now retired Brigadier General Yan Yakofo. If you know these two people, you will know that integrity is something that they have always been harping on and they continue to harp on, and it has been imbibed in most of us in the two intakes. And that has been a very drive, key driving factor in driving us to wherever we are. Integrity, never sacrifice integrity for anything, acquire knowledge and you walk proud. If you walk and you are hollow, it's just like a sack. If it is empty, it cannot stand. But when you are walking around and you fill down your sack with knowledge, you stand tall, you walk confidently, and you can move anywhere. So I implore all of you to try and acquire knowledge as it relates to your job as well as as it relates to other facets of life, and you will succeed and the respect of everybody who comes in contact with you, above, below, and at par. And remember what I said, and, I didn't say exact, and the respect. 
the respect through your own doings, by leading through example, by having integrity, by being physically present, you earn the respect of the people that you lead, the people that you associate with, the people that have been placed over and above you, and that will drive you to greater heights. Also, our course commander taught us one thing. Our course commanders taught us one thing, that we should plan for the future immediately you are born. So immediately you leave this academy, even as you are here, start planning for the future. What are you going to be? Am I going to be in the armed forces for 19 years, 20 years, 50 years? If I have to leave, what am I going to do? Start thinking about these things and put it all together and make sure you strike a good balance between that and your professional job that you are doing and you succeed. But most importantly, remember that there's a supreme being that overlooks all that we do. Have God at the back of your mind in all that you do. And if you have that belief that there's somebody up there, irrespective of your belief, there's somebody up there superintending over whatever you do. All the things that I've mentioned, integrity, teamwork, and all those things will naturally have to fall in place. The course commander for Special Division 33 was then Major Obed Brahma Aqua, who now is the Chief of the Defense Staff. Some of the representatives of the group who were present at the events included Colonels Franklin Wolanyo Agbebu, Public Relations Officer, Glover Annan, Ishmael Boglo, Francis Sasu, Charles Budu Kumi, Richard Kaini, John Ampedu, Albert Sison Ogaja, Group Captain Nee Mills, Captain Fred Chidi. Hanna Alagbe, AI News. Standing on behalf of uh, Regular Institute 34, a short service special to present, to make a token donation to the Academy. Colonel Nsiri has already highlighted all the benefits we 